What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here running salty. It's been a minute, just warming it up right now. Got everything prepped over the last few days. I'm gonna run it out the back, do some quarter miles, at least gonna try. The car has 390 rear gears and it doesn't really, I mean, it's already like 7,100 in the eight. So I'm gonna try to rev it hopefully like 7,800 and hopefully be able to run it all the way out the back to the quarter mile. Uh, the car's been 560s. Hopefully we can go mid high eight today and then maybe make some changes this winter. So. Got to get my tech car filled out. Got to get everything else ready. I'm actually going to go over the shocks on the car because I'm not sure where everything's set at. So I want to just reset everything, make sure we're fresh and go from there and see how it does today. It should be a good day. Today is the last race day of the season and the weather came around. It's mid seventies today, so it should be perfect. Short little drive over here to the tech shack. So after probably a solid hour and a half of adjusting shocks, fueling it up, putting methanol in it, looking over the tune, make sure everything's good, raising the rev limiter, I think we're good to go. So the car, I think if I remember right, it was like around 7,000, um, just past the eight. So I re moved the rev limiter to 8,000. I really don't want to go above that. So I'm hoping that based on mile an hour, depending on converter slip, I should be able to go near that like high 150 mark, 158, 160, which would put me like 870s. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. That's kind of my predictions, but uh, we're going to go up there and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to get in it, go make the first pass to the eighth. It's been a year since I've been in the car, so get comfortable again, make sure everything checks out, everything looks good, and then probably go up there and run it out the back. So let's go see what it'll do. down the track. I don't know what the deal was there. Not too thrilled with that one. Like it felt good and everything felt like it was gonna drive fine, but then it it like fell on its face. I don't know, probably a hundred foot before the eighth I'd say. So I don't know, it just and fell on its face. I pedaled and the car kind of came back online. So I don't know. I don't know if we're having crank sensor issue again or what the deal. Which I have a new one if I need to put it in there. But... Thank you. 597 at only 107. So it's definitely out of it before the 8th. It was on a good pass, but I don't know why it. data look at it and see see what the deal is i mean not bad but definitely not what it what it should have done <laughs> stands uh looking at the data it just runs out there and falls completely on its face and it has a miss in it i kind of noticed in the burnout and then it was okay and then it fell on its face completely if it was just like missing like plugs i would think it would just keep running like that when it completely falls on its face like the car shuts off i think it's like missing the crank signal uh, i've had that problem with this car before i've had that crank sensor in the car for a while 
that's why I have a spare one. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to pop that out. You gotta remove the starter, uh, pop a new one in there, and hopefully that'll fix it. It's up, old crank sensor is out. Uh, I don't know why, but out of there, new one. If you guys ever go get a sensor, make sure you buy the true AC Delco from a, like GM or Chevy or whatever, don't. Don't run an AutoZone one, so I'm gonna throw this in and hopefully that fixes the issue. So let's see if it misses, because it even miss just revving. I kind of noticed it earlier, I just didn't think much of it. Get this stock steering wheel because streetcar lowered down. There we go. So even just revving it at idle around 3300, it would start like missing. what I get for uh, neglecting the car for a year and then coming out to try to figure it out. But we're gonna go uh, make another pass and hopefully, hopefully everything's good. behind the car so I don't know what's going on. You get a little bit of it blew the dipstick out of the hole and stuff like that. Oh, so yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah, I saw I saw smoke and we, we saw oil. What was that? Pushed the dipstick tube out of it and puked oil all over the car. Oh. It started like running rough. And then like I kinda got out of it and then it I don't know, but it puked. To push the dipstick tube out of it. Yeah, because it was probably down there. Okay. Just past the eighth. Yeah, I'm probably, I was going to say, about 900 foot, probably in there. At the 
finish when you lift it really pushed it again. Like it kind of quit. Like you can see just the white, the smoke coming out. And then as you shut it off, boom, it kind of gave you more carry down. Well, then, yeah. so then I drove it all the way around and got to the tech shack, grabbed my slip, and it goes, Toop. And it's like puked oil out of it right there, and it killed itself, and then it fired back up once I looked. Which I'm looking at like this throttle body, which I think that's just for fluid. I was trying to see if there was a seal that like created a vacuum leak down on this thing or not, but or pressurized it. Yeah, I don't know what would have. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't have created that much pressure yeah. here. But like, there's a whole bunch of oil. Cool? I'll have to check you it. Push oil out the top, though, so probably not. Because there, well, there's a ton of oil over here and then here, which yeah, I don't know yeah, if it puked sure it there or if there's something. But like that gasket looks dry, so I don't know how all this got it wet. Didn't carry across the top there, did it? Like, no. Mm -hmm. So it's too individual. And it wasn't smoking when you were going down the return road at all. Right here, it's kind of puffing a little bit, though. Yeah, yeah, that's what. But the oil pressure, everything else is fine. I, I don't know what. I don't know what it's mad about. in the catch can, but I haven't drained that thing in a long time. I don't know. I don't know where the... That's what I thought. I kind of got nervous, thought that maybe it pushed an O-ring gasket out, because, I mean, they, they fit good, but they weren't, like, super tight. But that's all oily. Yeah, yeah that's why I was looking at the valve cover to see if it pushed it oh, out this, that this way. Oh, is, this was loose. What's that? The... Mm -hmm. Oh. And it's, it was leaking on the header here. Well, this thing's not the most sealed. I lost the cap and I had to use a different cap, but... Oh, man. That ain't open nothing. Time for a set of them Motion Raceworks valve covers. This is true. Damn! Got them, got them ready. Slug. Shameless plug. I don't know where it would have pushed. Oh, unless it unless it did let the oil pressure sensor go in the back of the, the back motor. and then sprayed it forward. But I can't. It don't look like the firewall's no. wet. No, it looks like it's got pretty much right in kind of central. But like the, the gasket on the valve cover, yeah, is it pushed out there? It don't look like it. Uh -huh. No, I didn't see nothing on that where it looked like it. This one, I think this one over here is just from the dipstick. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where the freaking chunk of oil come from right here. There's not much up in there for the intake to even push the. No, the intake don't have nothing like that that comes through it, unless it just so happened to bring it. <laughs> yeah, but you should be able to see the. You think it would have hit well? The path or the. Like here, like yeah, I don't one. see a path here underneath or the top, like where you know the hood don't show it, just there. There's nothing that it's... shows that transfer. I wonder if it's really pushing that much crankcase pressure through it to push the. I mean, with this it shouldn't be. No, that's a free open. Oh. But it, it and it run really really good until about. 60 some hundred RPM that kind of and I was like oh should I lift and then that's when I, I kind of got out it kind of ran rough kind of got out of it did that I even rolled back into it and it felt like it picked up again and started running rough a little bit more and I just I got out of it completely and then I looked back and saw the smoke behind me but I don't know okay so looking at the data everything looks good air fuel timing RPM I did rev it a little bit higher quite a bit there uh, 7400 where I shifted that come out and then right through here, it kind of, the RPM dipped a little, and then it felt good. And then right here, you guys can see it spikes the oil pressure. Uh, so I don't, this is where it pressurized the crankcase and then pushed the um, oil dipstick out of it. So I don't, I don't know why or what or what's going on with it, but uh, definitely not happy.
Also, it dropped a ton on the shift, and it, I didn't, it used to not do that as much. I don't think I'll need to look back at other data, but um, it felt great in the past till probably around here, and then it pressurized the system here, and just is what it is. Uh, I don't know, oil pressure looks great, uh, but yeah, like this thing makes a ton of oil pressure, so like 87, and then in here it spiked it to 105 psi. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Plenty, plenty rich, low timing, safe tune up, same tune up it's had in it for a long, long time, and it's just, just something didn't get happy with. So, this is literally the same tune up that's been in the car for probably almost three seasons, which this season really don't count of anything. So like two, two and a half seasons, uh, and then whatever it wasn't happy with today, it wasn't happy with. So probably gonna have to get the car home, look at some stuff, figure out what this is caused by, and then go from there. But otherwise it's kind of sucks in the season like that, but we'll go from there, figure out some more stuff. Uh, yeah, some days they don't all go as planned, that's for sure. Trevor just went 9-0 in the Civic. That's freaking awesome. Uh, but otherwise, guys, that'll be it for me today. Take this thing home, try to get it figured out. We're gonna get it loaded up. Appreciate everybody for watching. If you wanna find out what the heck went wrong here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.